One pattern of behavior that's very common among people who are trying to fix something in their lives, whether it's getting healthier or start a business and make some money, fix some relationship or deal with some addiction or break bad habits, build good habits, whatever, any of these things. One common pattern that I've seen on a lot of people over the years is the unwillingness to accept the truth. They wish that reality was different and they ignore the answer that deep down they know that is right. To give you one very explicit example so that you know exactly what I'm talking about and then I'll go into more detail. Think about health. Everyone knows how to be healthy. There's basically three components to it. You have nutrition, which in a way are your inputs. You have exercise, which are in a way your outputs. And then you have your routines, which are things like sleep and other things that we do on a daily basis that they have nothing to do with nutrition or exercise, but they're healthy. And then the foundation of it all when it comes to health is consistency. And everyone knows this. Everyone knows that to be healthy, you have to consistently eat healthy food, you have to consistently practice exercise, and you have to consistently keep up a healthy routine. You can get super technical and complicated all you want, but at its core, this is it. And everybody knows that doing a little bit of this is better than doing nothing, than doing zero. And all the big things in life actually carry the same simplicity, the examples that I was giving you before. Whether it's building a business and making money, your relationships, mental health, etc. But the thing is that people do not like this simple, straightforward answer that's on the face that everybody knows. Because this takes effort. And more importantly, when something takes effort, what it takes is responsibility. And that makes it very, very uncomfortable. And that's why people do not want to accept the truth that this is the answer and the solution to your problem because you'll be facing responsibility and effort will be demanded from your part. So instead, what people do is to fool themselves into thinking that the truth is something else so that they can push away this responsibility and then they blame it on something external or that they don't have the right information yet or that they have to wait for something to happen, some third party, whatever. And what they're doing is they're just extending this preparation phase right here at the beginning instead of going into the action phase because this phase is very comfortable. There's literally no risk and you cannot lose if you're not playing. So what all this trickery is, is self-deceit. And there's this very interesting book that talks about this, about how the brain can lie to itself without consciously knowing it. It's called the folly of fools and it's quite an interesting phenomenon. I'll make a detailed video on this topic soon, so subscribe to the channel if you want to watch that. And self-deceit or self-deception can happen for many reasons. And one of them, I would say it happens for energy preservation and also avoiding responsibility and effort, which is the whole thing that I'm talking about here. So what people do is they fool themselves and what ends up happening is that they end up stuck in a limbo because you have the real world and next to it, you have the real answers and then you also have the fake imaginary world with the fake imaginary answers. So what happens is that people obviously live in the real world because that's the only world in which you can live in. So they are right here, but they wish that the imaginary world was reality because they don't like the real answers. So what they do is they hope that the imaginary fake answers are the correct ones because these where they want to live and they hope that this is going to work but obviously it doesn't and that's when they get stuck like in a limbo and this is when nothing happens nothing works there is no improvement and time just keeps going by and by without people making any progress at all. And then what happens, as the quote says from Henry David Thoreau, the mass of men lead lives of quiet desperation. What is called resignation is confirmed desperation. Now, this neglection of the truth it is not 100% conscious, and sometimes it can happen on multiple areas in your life. So for some people, it might only be one, but for some other people, it might be all across the board. Now, how do we fix this? Because this is actually the interesting point right here. What you have to do, first of all, and this is the most important part, is to be honest. Because deep down, there's this tiny, tiny, tiny part of you that always knows. But what most people do, instead of being honest with themselves and listening to this tiny, tiny, tiny voice, which sometimes we could call intuition or your gut feeling, what most people do, instead of listening to it, because it's actually quite uncomfortable, they just drown it with distractions and escapism. You know, the classic thing that a lot of people say that, oh, I cannot sit by myself with my own thoughts, right? It's a nightmare because my brain will not shut up and I'm thinking about this thing that happened and that thing and whatever. And they say that that's why they need to constantly be listening to music or podcast. But this happens because the brain or your intuition or your heart or whatever you want to call it has so many things to say. And you've been building this up for so long that it's just getting worse and worse and worse and louder. The moment that there's some period of silence, it's just like all of these voices start to yell out, which over time, this just builds up. And I think this is what ends up 
feeling just like depression and anxiety, stress and all of these things. And the more you put it down by distracting yourself with social media or whatever thing that you have, the worse it's going to get. So yes, it is uncomfortable, as I was saying, but there's actually no way out, <laughs> which in a way is kind of paradoxical for some people, right? Because some people, in order to escape this, they try to apply the same logic. Like they still try to fool themselves. So right here, we knew that in order to be healthy, it's very straightforward and everybody knows. And yes, it's going to take effort and responsibility. So to escape this, it's the exact same thing. You just have to face it, accept it and take action. There's no secret technique or special method or any cool way to do it. Absolutely none. And once you start taking action, it is fascinating how fast all of these uncomfortable thoughts and feelings disappear. That's also a big part that a lot of people don't realize. Because as soon as you start to signal your brain that all that bullshit is over, and now you're finally taking responsibility and effort and action, it's going to calm down. And all of these voices and all of these uncomfortable feelings will go away. Because that's all your brain or your gut feeling or your intuition, your heart, that's all it's trying to tell you which is like, just do, do it. And something very interesting that Stephen Pressfield talks about in his book, The War of Art, is that often all of these uncomfortable feelings in life that emanate from not doing the thing that you know that you should be doing, you can use those feelings as a clear sign that point you towards the thing that you know you should do, the most important one. So if you have something that you need to get done, whether it's a personal project, a business, something about your health or some issue with a relationship that you have, but you have all these things, pushing you away from it, which Stephen Pressfield calls resistance. It can be anything, social media, chores, just work, random excuses like, oh, I don't have time or whatever, even lust. There are so many reasons why you could be pushed away from the thing that's most important in your life. What Stephen Pressfield talks about is that if you look at this, what you can do is to reverse these arrows. And now all of a sudden, all of these things are actually pointing you towards the most important thing that you need to do. And understand that, as I was saying earlier, like it is incredible that as soon as you start taking action, like you feel better immediately. It is crazy. It can happen within minutes. So honestly, like stop neglecting the truth. Don't watch any more videos. Okay. If you're watching up until now, I guess like this somewhat resonates with you. And this might be something that you're going through in some area in your life. So don't watch any more videos or go to Instagram or whatever after this. Close it all down. Uh, before you do that, subscribe to my channel. But once you click that subscribe button, close it all and go do that thing, whatever it is. Okay, go do this and see reality for what it is. You have to stay right here. Okay, forget about all of this crap. Okay, so that's it. Subscribe. I'll see you very soon. Take care. Peace.